Okay, for March 4th, 2000, sorry, uh, 2021. Uh, today's day four, we're gonna be starting, uh, we're gonna be working in unit two, just waiting for everyone to show up. Hey, Nati, how are you?
Nati, how was your day? Hi, teacher. My day was fine and yours? Pretty good. Um, what did you do today? Well, today I worked uh, from home. I didn't go out. And it was a really calm day. Oh, okay. And is it normal for you to work from home? Uh, twice a week. Oh, okay. That's pretty good. The other, and the other three days you go to the office. Yes, that's right. Okay. That sounds good. Yes, everything was good. And in the afternoon when I uh, get out from work, I went to the park with my nephew because I live with my nephew. Mm -hmm. Yes, we went to the park uh, a little while. What do you do at the park? Well, uh, we played some football. We we went in in our bicycle. Mm -hmm. A little bit of that, nothing else. That's nice. I uh, I live near a park also. It's called um, Cafetalon, and there there you can rent uh, uh, roller skates, um, bicycle, do exercises, many different things like that. Play soccer, baseball. Yes, that's right. I only went there one one. But it's a pretty big park for for being in the city. Yes, it's a it's a big park. Mm -hmm. So, but it's nice that you can go um, and with your bicycle. I I don't have a bicycle, so always when I want to, I have to rent a bicycle from Cafetalon, but. It's nice to, you know, that you have a park and you like to do some exercises. Okay, yes. It really helps you. Yeah. Hey, Marce, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I'm really good, thank you. Hey. I'm pretty good. Tell me, what did you do today? I baked a cake. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure not. Um, 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 I got some TV. Okay. That's not all. And some what kind of I cake? Don't make a lot. What kind of cake did you make, Marcin? Uh, a cake of chocolate and vanilla. Sounds good. Sounds good, Marcia. Yes, I like I like to to bake a good cake. And why did you bake a cake? Is it for a birthday, a celebration, or no reason? Sorry, Marcia. I said, why did you bake the cake? What What was the reason for baking the cake today? Was it a celebration? You're on mute, Marcia. Okay, maybe Marcus is having a little bit of problems, technical problems. Emma, how about you? How are you? Hello, good night. Good evening, Emma. How was your day? Um, how do you say tranquilo? Relaxing or calm. Okay, my day was calm today. Uh -huh. Okay. I don't have a lot of work than yesterday. What do you do, Emma? Um, I did a report and answered the phone. Just that. Okay. Okay. No problem. 
All right. And you, Jose, how are you? Hi, hi. What did you do today? Oh. We can't hear you, Jose. Okay. Maybe Jose has some technical problems also. <laughs> All right. Well, it seems everybody's having a little bit of technical problems today. No problem. All right. No problem. Yeah, audio issues for Jose, and I think I, uh, Marce had some earlier. Um, I'm not sure if he was able to fix it as well. So it's okay. It happens sometimes. That's part of the technology, right? We have uh, things we can't control. So let's take a look and let's begin with today's activities and tasks. Um, we're looking at section 2.6 from the conversations. So if we can see here, I'll share my screen. Okay, this is 2.6, okay? And it's similar to the question that I asked you. What have you been doing? The difference is, is what did you do is for a specific time, like today or yesterday or something like that. What have you been doing is normally used uh, when you haven't seen someone for a long time. And we use this from the, since the last time you saw them to now. That's the idea of what have you been doing. And we use it to talk about things that have been going on in the life or uh, situations. So we're going to watch the video and then we're going to discuss it and make sure you understand it. Hello, this time we want you to listen to the following conversation. The idea is for you to understand what's going on and also to practice it with a friend or a relative. Once you do that, we want you to play the second part of the conversation and get ready to answer the question I have for you. What have you been doing? Part A. Listen and practice. Hey, Gina. I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. What has happened to Pete and Gina since they last saw each other? Please write your answer on our discussion box. Part B. Listen to two other people at the party. What has happened since they last saw each other? Hey, Bob. How's it going? Pretty good, thanks. I haven't seen you for a while. What have you been up to? Well, I've been looking for a house to buy. I finally found one last month. That's terrific. Yeah, I'm really tired of renting. So what have you been doing lately? Well, I just got back from a vacation in Italy. Italy? Where in Italy? Mostly in the north, around Milan. I have a cousin there. I see. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was great. In fact, I just got engaged to a guy I met there. You're kidding. Well, that must have been some vacation. Okay. So what I want us to focus on is a little bit about the sentences and the structures of the questions. So we say, what have you been doing? What have you been up to lately um, in the second conversation that we hear that? And then the answers are similar, okay? If you see the answers have to do with, well, I've, I've been, I've been working, I've been saving money, or I've been, here, I've only been spending money, okay? I haven't been getting any. The reason we use been or have been is to indicate from the past to now, 
Okay, so we have a couple ways of asking the questions. Um, what have you and then been? All right, and in this case, we usually have something like, what have you been up to? What have you been doing? What have you been, uh, you know, working on? Or what have you been uh, trying out? That's usually the question, right? And for the answers is similar. Um, we usually tend to use the word I've and then been. It's always been. Um, and we use the whatever you have had. So I've been working on, I've been studying, I've been uh, traveling, whatever you want. If you notice, all of the structures that I'm using have an ing, right? I've been so and so, but with ing, okay? That's that's the way that we're going to do it, okay? Um, and the same way, if it's a negative, I haven't been and similar, okay? So maybe, I don't know, before I used to smoke, right? Uh, I was a person who smoked a lot. So I haven't been, um, normally I would say, I haven't been smoking, which means I've quit from the last time you saw me until now. That's usually what we're talking about when we're using have been, okay? So if I imagine we have this course together and then I don't see you for one year. Ah, that's when I'm gonna ask, what have you been up to? Or what have you been doing? Or what have you been working on lately, okay? Because that's the idea. The idea is have been is for these long periods of time between people, okay? And did you, what did you do? What, uh, what did you work on? This is for at a specific moment. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna try to make up and we're gonna try to practice it together here in, in the big group before we do anything in our smaller groups, okay? So who would like to try making the first question? How do we make the question? How do we ask somebody? If you're not sure, look in the chat. The chat will help you. The chat is here. Where have you visit, visited Estaria, verdad? I don't know, Selvin, so finish the question and then I'll, I'm, maybe I can understand. What have you been? What have, where have you been in the, la the last year? Okay, so you need a verb, you need an action. Okay. And the action is going to be with ing. So it's going to be, as an example, what have you been? Uh, reading the last year? What have you been doing uh, last uh, the last year? What have you been, uh, okay. you know, visiting or traveling to? Mm -hmm. Okay, visiting in, in past. No, all, always, always is with ing. Uh, visiting, oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Visiting. So you're going to use the verbs with okay. ing. I try again, okay. Okay. Where have you been visiting the last year? Okay, where have you been visiting the last year? Okay, ask Jose, Marcela, Emma, or Nati. Go ahead, they're gonna answer. Selvin, ask one of the partners. Ah, where have you been visiting the last year? Okay, to who? Who are you asking, Selvin? Selvin, you are. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, okay, yes. Sorry, uh, I, I, my, my microphone is off. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, please, Marcela. Okay, Where Marce have you been visiting the last year? I have been visiting New Zealand the last year. I'm sorry, Marce, you have been visiting where? New Zealand. Selvin? New Zealand. Uh, okay, yes. okay, okay, good. Uh, it, it's for the intonation. Uh, Marce is New Zealand, New Zealand. 
New Zealand. Yes, Zealand. That's right. Zealand. Perfect, Marcy. Now, Marcy, you ask a partner and they answer. Okay. Um, Emma, what have you been cooking here the last month? No. Only what have you been cooking? What have you been cooking? Mm -hmm. Um, I have been cooking a pizza. Okay, exactly. So as you can see, we are using the idea with ing. So I've been cooking. And the same, we cannot use a specific time when we say, have you. You cannot say, what have you been doing uh, yesterday? Or what have you been doing this morning? Okay. These are, for these questions, we use the did. What did you do this morning? What did you do uh, this week? Because these are actions that are finished. These are times in the past. What have you been doing includes to now. That's the difference. Emma, try to ask, okay, a, okay. ask a question to another partner. Okay. Um, Jose Perez, have you been saving money? Uh, I haven't. I haven't saving money. Correct. I, I haven't been saving money. Exactly. That's correct. Mm hmm Okay, Jose Perez, go ahead, ask nothing. Uh, what have you been doing, Sergio Martinez? The last words we didn't hear too clearly, Jose. Doing, doing. Doing, okay, what have you been doing? I... Being Selvin is, is, is for nothing, is for nothing. Ah, for nothing. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. I, I, I have been uh, working and studying English this last week. Okay. All right. All right. So let me, now we're going to watch a small video to make it a little bit clearer. Um, there's a difference between distance and the simple past. And we want to make sure that we understand the difference. It's not the same, uh, it's not the same meaning. So let's watch a little video and then I'll explain. We have, so we can get a better understanding of the difference. The structure that we are using right now is called the present perfect continuous, okay? As you can see, it's the pronoun, the person, have been, and the verb in ing, okay? But we're going to watch the video and then I'll explain if it's something is not clear. Hi, we want you to go back to the previous conversation. Can you find examples of statements with have and haven't been? Now, we want you to stay for the explanation of the structure and use of the present perfect continuous. Present perfect continuous. Use the present perfect continuous for actions that start in the past and continue into the present. What have you been doing lately? I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How long have you been modeling? I've been modeling since I graduated. Have you been saving money? No, I haven't been saving any money. I've been spending it. Moving on. Present perfect continuous is a tense used for a continuous or repeated activity that began in the past and continues into the present. It emphasizes the activity itself and its duration. Let's look at these examples. Jack has been waiting for over an hour. I've been studying since three o'clock. How long have you been studying French? And last but not least, we'll go over the structure of these tense. For affirmative, this is what we use. I, we, you, they, plus have been, plus verb, plus ing. 
he, she, it, plus has been, plus verb, plus ing. When in negative, we need to add the word not between have or has and been. And as always, in questions, the helping verb or the auxiliary goes at the beginning, followed by the subject, like this. Have plus subject plus been plus verb plus ing plus complement. Have you been saving money? Can you now work on the following exercises? How long? Okay, so a couple of things that we want to focus on. The main idea is that we use it for things that happen and continue, right? That's one of the reasons that we use it. So here we can see I've been working two jobs. So I started working six months ago and I continue now. I've been modeling since I graduated. I started when I graduated and I continue to do it. I haven't been saving money. So since the last time, I didn't start money, saving money, and now I am still don't save money. I only spend money. That's the idea for those present perfect continuous, okay? So we're thinking about, we use it, as we can see here, specifically for repeated activities. So it began in the past and continues into now. It's not the same. Uh, for example, Emma says... I think it was Emma who said she had cooked a chocolate cake today. Maybe it was Natty. I don't remember. I, I, I can't remember. Um, uh, but that is the simple past. It's not I have been cooking a chocolate cake. The reason is because when you say I have been is because you continue to do it. As an example, right now, Selvin has been studying English. Why? Because he started in the past and now still continues to study English. That's the difference then. I studied English. Does that make sense? The action doesn't finish. No, the action is still, is, is uh, very common that the action still is now. We still continue with the action now. So as an example, Hey, Marcel, what are you doing? I, I, I haven't seen you in two years. Oh, I have been working at, I don't know, Banco Agricola. So you started in Banco Agricola in the past and now still, 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 still continue to today. That is, I have been. Anybody else, any other questions? Thanks, Marcel. No, it's it's okay. Selvin, you have a question? No, no. No. Okay. Uh, only only you need practice. Yes, and that's what we're and that's what we're going to do right now. So with our partners, we are going to practice different conversations with it. So the first one we're going to do is practice the conversation that we read. It's in the WhatsApp group or it's in the platform. It's the conversation where, what have you been doing? Okay, so for this conversation, it's not a problem. Uh, we can go to a 2.6 if you want. If you are in the platform, you can go to 2.6, but if you uh, don't have the platform, easily you can uh, check on your cell phone or if you prefer, in this moment, you can take a screenshot and have it on your computer. So you have many options. The idea is you are going to practice being Pete and Gina, and then you're going to switch roles, and the other is going to be Pete, and then the other one is going to be Gina. Okay, that's the first activity. The second activity is you're going to imagine you are the people at the party. Okay, so you are other people. You are the people maybe here in the back. Okay. You are this guy Spending money. and this one. I'm pursuing a okay or someone else. And you are continuing the conversation with your partners. Oh, okay. And you, 
what happened? And, you know, we, we're going to continue. Oh, and you, Marce, or you, Nati, or you, Jose, what have you been doing? Oh, you know, and then you think about it. You can create whatever action you want. Okay. So one more time. Let's go. What is the first thing we're going to do? Practice the conversation. Excellent, Nati. That is correct. Practice the conversation. What is the second thing we're going to do? Exercise 2.6. No, no, no. The conversation is the exercise 2.6. So the 2.6 okay. is, is the same conversation. Mm -hmm. But after we practice the conversation, what are you going to do next? Continue with the conversation. Correct, Marce. After you practice the conversation, you create your own conversation. You imagine you are at the party or you are seeing someone and then you create your own conversation after that. Okay? So, the first, practice the conversation. Second, you continue the conversation. It's okay for that? Okay. All right. Then let's begin with our partners. Let's make our groups and let's get started. Hi, teacher, you can hear me very well. Check it out, check it out, check it out. What's the doing? Marcia, are you there? There you go. All right. Can you see it? Jose, can you see it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to start. Hey, Jose, I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I am saving out money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. I'm first in a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, but I haven't been great in any work. I need a job soon and almost out of money. Okay, I am gonna start. Hey Gina, I haven't seen you in a What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I've been working to yet for the last six months. How come? I'm saving that money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. I am putting a full time over in career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Thanks, I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. I am almost out of money. Okay. 
So then we are going to continue with the conversation, right? I guess. What have you, what have you been, what have you been doing? Basically, I have, I have doing skating. And you, what have you doing? Been. Remember, you need to always use the word been. been. What been have with. you been doing? Mm -hmm. uh, I have been working in... I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Wow, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? <laughs> well, I'll... Only being spending money, I pursue a full time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. I almost out of money. Okay. Um... Hey. Okay, now who wants to be Pit again? <laughs> I'm going to be Pit. Okay. Hi, Gina. Have I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. Okay. Okay. Uh James, uh, Nati, can you uh, can you be fit and I Gina? Okay. Hey Gina, I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. <laughs> okay. Emma? Yes. Can you be fit? Okay. Hey, Gina. I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I've been working to work two jobs for the last six months. How come? I'm saving, I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. Okay. And now... What we are doing. We have to make 
around a conversation. Yes, we have All to make another sentences. Okay. Uh, okay. What do you think about we write the conversation in the chat? Oh, that's okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's okay. A country? Not at all. Not at all. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't visited. Okay. No, I haven't. They fix it. Okay. I got it. Um, and where have you been studying English? Repeat the question, please. I didn't hear you very well. Where have you been this? Where have you been studying English? Why? Where? Ah, normal, like the feet, like the normal person in the car, in the work side, in my own, myself, or the streets or pubs. I mean, speaking to the guys I speak sometimes in the car, in so my own, you know, watching videos about English, get a video, speak, listening. And you were about to where you been learning. Where have you been learning English? Yeah, sounds good. I I was studying English in the academy but but now I just study with English Corporativo, right? Okay. And, and I am trying, I'm trying to practice every day with up and some exercises about listening and writing. And how did you, how long be doing that? Fine. Three years ago, I think, but But now I I make an it for for an it. Okay. Any questions? No teacher. No, Selvin, no? Anybody else? Uh, uh, uh -huh. Only, 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 I, I think that only need practice and write. Um, review the verb too. <laughs> baby, baby, the verbs are usually the difficult ones to remember, right? <laughs> How to use them. Yes, yes, yes. Um, writing can help you, but it's actually you're better with speaking because the writing is the one thing that you can do without the teacher. And the speaking is the one thing that you can only do with someone else. So that is the advantage that you have the both. Um, if possible, it's best to do 
the two activities, right? Write and try to practice what you write. That way you can see or listen to your partners and write what they say. That way, they, that way you can practice your listening skills and have the ability to do two things at once. Like in most jobs, in most jobs it's required that you have to be able to speak and take notes or write, write and give a report at the same time. So this is the, the most important is always that we try very good thing that we try to practice the most. It, it doesn't matter, writing, uh, speaking, uh, reading, the different things. In this moment, we're going to practice a little bit of reading, okay? So we're gonna take turns and we're going to read together this article, okay? Here, the, the article says child prodigies, okay? Can you see it? Is it okay? Yes. Yes. Yes, okay. So in this idea of child prodigies, okay? What do you think is a prodigy? What for you is a, a prodigy? It's the people that have uh, a special characters. Okay, special characteristics. Like what, Selvin? Yeah. Like, like what kind of things uh, are... Mm -hmm. Like to music or like to sport, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, 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 okay. Artist, artist. Mm -hmm. Also, also very good. Like the people, the draw, draw uh, beautiful, and okay. paint beautiful too. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 exactly. Those are also other prodigies as well, right? They have many different areas. So, when we think about prodigies, we can usually think of prodigies as something that is extraordinary, okay? Something that someone does that is talented or more than the normal, okay? So we're going to read a little bit. We have three columns, um, so I need three people to read. Who would like to read the first column? Okay, please go ahead and read. Other musicians have described Sarah Chan as the most wonderful, perfect violinist they ever hear. What makes this phrase especially surprising is Sarah's age. She's only in her 20s, and people have been describing her this way since she was a child. On Sarah's fourth birthday, her father gave her a violin. By age five, she was accepted at the famous Juilliard School of Music in New York City. By, by eight, she was performing as a violin soloist with major orchestras. Since then, Sarah has performed around the world and recorded many albums. Okay, thank you very much, Nati. Are there any words you don't know? Yes, for example, where is this I can find, but I read a word that I didn't know. What is praise? Ah, praise. Praise is like congratulations. So it says, mm -hmm. what makes this praise especially surprising? What makes this congratulations or these good words about the person? That is the praise. Okay. That, war, that was the word, teacher. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh-huh, Marce took your word, huh? Ma. <laughs> okay, all right, good. Who would like to read the second paragraph? The second paragraph. Me, teacher. Okay, Marce. Before Michael Kearney was born, the doctors warned his parents that they might have learning disease. It's 
surgery. He's been proving them wrong ever since. By the time he was four months old, Michael could say two sentences like, what's for dinner, mom? By 10 months, he could read work. Studying at home with his parents, Michael completed for grade level six years. At 10, he graduated from college with honors. And at 14, he received a master's degree. Now, in his late teens, he is teaching and working on his PhD. Okay. Thank you, Marcia. Are there any words you don't know? Next, teacher. Next. Okay. When Alexander Mechita was two, her parents gave her some crayons and coloring books. Alexander, Alexandra was soon working in inks, watercolors, and by the time she was seven, old pain at eight, Alexandra had her first art exhibit. Now, a young adult, Alexandra is one of the most recognized artists in the world. Her paintings are often compared to those of Picasso and other great artists. They have sold for as much as $80,000. She was been on many on TV many times and several books for of her painting have been published. Okay, Sam, thank you. Are there any words you don't know? Working in ink. Working in ink is the type of material used for uh, for painting. Is the ink like the like a pens or color pens? Ink is similar to tattoo. Exactly. Art exactly. Tattoo. Mm -hmm. They use ink. That's right. Any other words? No, okay. Okay, great. So now that we went through those things, it's very good because we have a couple exercises that we are going to complete. From that reading, we are going to here, I'll show you. Um, this is 2.10. This is 2.10. And the idea is the reading that we just finished. And now you have some questions about the reading. So with your partners, you are going to answer those five questions from 2.10. Okay, so you have five questions about the reading from 2.10. And number one, uh, how how do other musicians teacher? How do you pronounce these words? Musicians. Musicians. Mm -hmm. Thanks. 
How do other musicians describe Sarah? The most wonderful, perfect violinist, the worst, most horrible violinist. The most wonderful perfect violin, I guess. Yes, I agree. Um, Number two is who gave Sarah the fifth film? Um, <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Who's work on Alexander? I mean, uh, Picasso's. Picasso. Yes, Picasso. Yes, Picasso. Picasso, compared to those of Picasso, another great artist. Okay, ten. Okay. Ten. Hey, excellent. Hey, again, again, again. <laughs> excellent. Now hit previous. Now you can work with your partners in 2.9. That way you don't have to worry about the homework for the weekend. Mm, okay. Okay. So now go to 2.9. Now, 2.9. And you can advance with the homework, is the one right before it. Okay, teacher. Okay. No, not to, uh, yes, that one, 2.9. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Complete the presentation with the person first continues. For most of the essays, you need to select two choices, except for the first letter B. Okay. Okay. But what have you? Mm -hmm. Have been been doing been right? Doing. La dos está buen y la tres. La primera. La cuatro es la primera. He might have learned difficult. I was wrong. No problem. Very but good. I did, it. I did it. Okay. Now that you finished two point ten, you can do two point nine, and that way you don't have homework this weekend. So you can go with your partner to 2.9 and finish that. And then that way you don't have to worry about the homework for this weekend. I'm going to show you the screen in case you don't have the screen so you can take screenshots, okay? What the hell do you need? Okay. Or do you have the screen or do you want me to share the screen? Uh, I, I, did, I did the, the exercise. That's why I say a few minutes ago, it's difficult to show the advice on the screen. Okay. No. Correct. That's the one. Marcia, do you have any questions? I don't have a question. Okay. And you completed 2.9 also, Marcia? Yes, okay, my cell phone. Hey, okay, great. Everybody's completing. That's excellent. Right. 
So I guess there are no questions. Uh, um, remember that you should be in the platform. You should be complete with unit one and unit two by Monday, okay? So today we finished 2.10 and you started 2.9 in, in your groups. Some groups are finished at 2.9 completely and don't have homework. But if you didn't finish, remember, you should be finished lesson one and lesson two by Monday. All right? Okay, teacher. All right. Have a great weekend. Okay. And, I'll, and I'll see you guys on Monday. Okay. See you Monday. Bye. 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 You too. Have a good weekend.